What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Heroes of High Isles event, which begins this week, Thursday, September the 29th at 10 a.m. Eastern and runs until Tuesday, October the 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern. I will put all this information down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. But in this event, uh, you're going to be able to go out with friends, uh, go out with you know guild members, or do this solo and come together and kind of get that Pathfinder achievement. So what you're going to do is explore the High Isles by visiting all six of the unique lo uh, locals in the zone. They're not going to tell you where these uh, specific locations are, but it says your achievement menu might have some hints. In addition, all those who have already earned the High Isles Pathfinder achievement prior to the event can still contribute to the meter's progress. They said they'll update the meter on September 29th to immediately include all users who have already completed this achievement. Every day they will update the meter on the High Isles page with the community's progress. The more the explorers who complete the achievement, the quicker the community meter will fill up, increasing the rewards. Once the meter reaches 100% or the event reaches its end, they'll add the currently unlocked rewards to the crown store in a single bundle for all owners of the High Isles chapter to claim for free. They have done these kind of things in the past. I'm sure if you played the game over the last couple of years, we've had some bundles like this. But kind of here's what you're going to get with each stage. At 33%, you're going to get the Oak Promise Markings. At 66%, you're going to get the Plant Yourself Emote. At 100%, you're going to get an Ascendant Box. At 100%, you're also going to get the uh, Salamander Pet. And also at 100%, you get Bonus Mystery Reward to be revealed during the Legacy of the Bretons Autumn Event Stream. The Ascendant Horde Box, which will include a host of rewards, contains things like Undaunted Plunder and Undaunted Keys, Teflar Stones, Outfit Change Tokens, uh, Crafting Rits, Writing Lessons, Transmute Crystals, High Level Companion Gear, including Legendary Quality Companion uh, Jewelry, High Isles Item Sets, Undaunted Crafting Stations, and a Ascendant Lord Statue. Also during this, uh, while you complete quests and explore High Isles, you can also earn bonus rewards from the zone itself. Pick up the Heroes of Isles introductory, uh, introductory quest, excuse me, titled the Island Tour from the in-game crown store. During the event period, the first time you complete a daily quest in High Isles or the Dread Cell Reef trial weekly uh, quest, you receive a uh, coffer. This new reward box may contain some of the following items. A guaranteed chance for a, uh, some random crafting material, high aisle treasures, style item uh, for high aisle motifs, high aisle overland set items, or a guaranteed chance for companion gear. Uh, Ember or Isabel must be your active companion to be able to get that companion gear. Also, you get a chance of high aisle furnishings, high aisle recipe, high aisle treasure map or survey report, and high aisle motif pages, and a small chance for a tradable page of the new Oaken Order armor style. For each daily quest you complete after the first, you earn a uh, coffer which will contain similar items but offers a smaller chance to get those larger rewards. So kind of like any of the other coffers from any of the other events, that first coffer you get each day will be the one that has the bigger chance to get the better stuff. But all the coffers after that will still offer a small chance. Uh, you can also acquire Society of uh, the steadfast coffers through the following methods, delves and world bosses, dread cell reef, non-final bosses, dread cell reef, final boss, volcanic events, monsters, opening treasure chest, uh, opening safe boxes, crates, barrels, sacks, uh, psychic portals, also thieves troves, crafting resource nodes, and pickpocketing. Both the High Isles Daily Quest and Weekly Dread Sale, uh, Dread Sale Trial Quest offer double their regular non-event reward boxes. In addition, during the event period, the zone harvest node yields are also increased and all world bosses, public dungeon bosses, and trial bosses, and delve bosses throughout the High Isles drop additional rewards. Of course, there will be event tickets during this. In total, you can gain 26 event tickets by the end of the event. Just remember, you only can hold 12 at a time. After uh, amassing your trove of Precious event tickets head over, of course, to the merchant and exchange them for some different things, um, you know, that you can get from the event itself. Uh, you can earn two tickets each day the first time you complete a High Isles Zone daily quest. So if you're wondering how you get those tickets each day, you will get two tickets after you complete your first High Isles Zone daily. Of course, all three Soul Fire Dragon Illusion Pet Fragments will be available. All three fragments for the Paladin Outfit, 
the bound style pages for the Oaken Order Style, Group Repair Kits, and of course the Companion Guild Commendations. So this is going to be a good event, uh, you know, for a lot of players out there. A lot of people will be interested in doing daily, especially if you're a PVE fan. Also, I forgot to mention uh, from the event vendor, you still will be able to get all of those different things for your Endrix, so your feathers, berries, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this new event. Are you looking forward to it? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.